Please leave it. Oh, you're not recording it. I am recording. Oh, see. great. <laughs> uh, I'm be setting up the camera like R. Kelly when he pissed on that little girl. Oh, he did. <laughs> He was like all close up. <laughs> he was all up in the frame, like, mm -hmm. let me get it straight. <laughs> let me Everything cock it a little be. bit to the right. We can't miss none of this. <laughs> I need y'all to see all my pieces. <laughs> Show me your face. I'm gonna piss on it. <laughs> all right. Woosa. Breathe. <laughs> Shake it out. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, we hungry, so we gotta get this together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. But if you ask me, I've been waiting my whole life just to love on you. And I can't love you soon enough, baby, if you ask me. Welcome to my channel. I'm your girl, Styles by Shamiko, the hairdresser. And in today's video, I filmed our very first wash and go. Oh, me. Oh, this this young lady over here. Yes, <laughs> this is my sister, Miss Mariah. Y'all remember me from the first video? <laughs> right, the very first video on my channel with my easy bad, product bad. review video. And uh, back I then, bad. she had, you know, heat styles and purple hair, and we've just kind of let all that go literally <laughs> and i mean that video was filmed like the summer of 2016 yeah two years ago mm -hmm. so this hair is getting kind of long oh yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> uh-huh but this shrinkage is like really real mm -hmm. shrinkage is so real <laughs> it's like half the size but it's good though right. i like 50 percent shrinkage hey, yeah that's that's the reality of natural hair you know totally. but She's been pretty much rocking like, I guess, twist outs and a lot of braids, braids and braid outs and pretty much anything low maintenance and low key and around that range. The maximum heat I've had has been blow dried and that's, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all. That's a little bit, you know, yeah. it's not so bad. But um, for today, we were just like hanging out in Target and we were like, hmm, I why don't we try something new? Let's let's try a wash and go. We've never tried it before. We don't know how it's gonna come out. We don't even really know what products we need, but we figured I, all that out in the store. <laughs> pretty much. You know, we got a couple things and came up with this look over here. So if you guys are curious to see like my process and how I went about creating this wash and go style, um, you know, stick around because it's all coming up. Yeah. <laughs> so you thank guys. you guys and I will see y'all at the end. <laughs> so this is what her hair is looking like freshly shampooed and it's still damp with conditioner in it and I really just wanted to show you guys her texture in its raw form. So here it is. I would actually classify her texture as maybe a 4B. And there's still a tiny bit of old color left over on the very ends, as you guys can see. And we're actually planning to cut those off over the next few months. We prepped her hair using the Curl Care Shampoo and Conditioner by Bumble and Bumble. It's sulfate free and awesome for softening and moisturizing any type of curly or wavy texture. And this is not a sponsored product plug. I just actually really like the line and I've been using it pretty much since it came out. And here is her hair all rinsed and ready to go, completely free of any type of product whatsoever. As you guys can see, there's plenty of texture, but there's minimal definition at this point. Target run. The product aisle. <laughs> Trying to decide, trying to decide. Hey! And we ended up deciding on these two products here. We got the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. Which has a very nice and creamy consistency. 
it almost feels like a light gel, but it's really, really moisturizing. And we also picked up the curling custard for hold and definition. And it's definitely a gel. It feels a lot like a flaxseed gel, but slightly more oily. And both products have a very nice light and sweet smell to them. Now, as a rule of thumb, whenever you're doing any type of wash and set or wash and go style, you'll need at least two products. One for moisture retention and softening, meaning any type of spray or cream leave-in conditioner is suitable for your texture. And you'll also need another product for hold and definition. So any type of gel, mousse, setting foam, or lotion of your choice will work just fine. Also, you can finish off the style with an oil or serum for shine and to lock moisture in your hair for a longer period of time. And that was the key reason we chose these two products in particular for today's wash and go look. And now we're jumping right into the style. I'm taking my half an inch to one inch subsection, finger detangling, applying a little bit of water. Gotta keep that hair moisturized. Taking my knot today, putting a little bit in my hands and just emulsifying it together, applying it to that one section only. From roots to ends, taking my detangling brush from the ends up, just to evenly distribute that product throughout the hair. And you can already see some definition forming. And now I'm just taking the gel, applying that also from roots to ends. And then I'm going to take my Denman brush and just brush that through, roots to ends, slowly making that product distribute evenly through the hair. And bam, definition girl. Oh my God, y'all. We were so happy to see this product work so well on her. I gotta admit, I'm loving the results so far and how absolutely beautiful her tiny coils and ringlets are. We had no idea that this product would look this way and cause our hair to look this way. And again, we've never tried this technique on her hair. And it was also our first time trying these two products on her, ironically. And now I'm just continuing the same technique and product application on my next subsection. Applying some water, the knot today, taking my detangling brush, brushing that through, applying a little bit of the curling custard right on top of that. Of course, I'm gonna take my dimming brush and brush that through. And bam, y'all see that spring action? I am so living for her curls, beautiful hair. Now I started taking my subsections a little more imperfect to create more movement and cohesion within the style. I didn't really want to split perfectly where each part was as it dried. But when I got to the area above the curve of her head, I started taking my subsections vertically to frame her face. We wanted to do more of a bangs vibe in the front. And now she's just hanging out under my portable golden hot hooded dryer. And we allowed her to sit there about half an hour. And the goal is just to get her hair anywhere between 80 and 90% dry. We could have let it air dry, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and here is what her hair is looking like 80% dry. And I decided to go ahead and finish her off using a diffuser. And with using one, you definitely want to mostly hold it in one place just to keep it from causing frizz. Because anytime you manipulate partly dry hair too much, it definitely frizzes. And my blow dryer was on the cool setting the entire time. And after that, we went ahead and used some more cool air just to stretch her hair a little bit. And I also break up that gel cast just a little bit. And we decided not to stretch it too much though, because she really did like it. And we wanted it to last at least one week, which surprisingly it did. But if we did want to stretch it more, we would have used warmer air. The heat would have allowed her hair to just relax just a little bit, elongate itself, and to show off her length. We'll probably actually try it like that in the future, so be on the lookout. And here is Mariah's hair all finished, hey! And we're definitely digging this look. 
and she was super excited to have a different way to style her hair from time to time and it still felt really really soft to the touch it didn't feel crunchy or weighed down at all this product definitely did its job thank you kinky curly we are loving it and here's what her hair was looking like three days later it's still defined but it's a lot more voluminous now so we are back and thank you guys so much for watching our video today please shoot us a comment give us a huge thumbs up if you liked it you know help us get our videos ranking high and stuff, right, you know. Right, hit that subscription yeah, button. Check out them social media. Check out Twitter, my right, all Snapchat. of that. See y'all, y'all already know. Yeah. She knows. I know. All y'all know. <laughs> Everybody knows. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so you know, check us out. All of my info will be down in the description area. Yep, as always. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I will be linking her info too oh, so yeah. you guys can check her out. I'll make videos soon. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be like hairstyle videos, but they'll be cool though. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. So thank you guys again for checking us out today. And we really hope you enjoyed today's video. We worked really hard. Yes, we and did. And we had a lot of fun. Yes, we and did. And we just want to, you know, share our first wash and go with the world <laughs> the YouTube world <laughs> so again thank you guys and I will see y'all in the next one yeah. <laughs> bye bye love y'all